We knew this deal was uh, going to get done. A loan deal, of course, helps them with the whole financial fair play. Uh, it helps them to some degree. Obviously, they're, they're paying a, a premium on the price because uh, the, the, there's a loan fee incorporated in it as well. And, uh, you know, right now, everybody was skeptical about whether the Neymar deal at all was going to lead them to breach. Um, now, throw this in. And consider that a year from now, uh, they'll have the weight of Neymar and Mbappe on their books. So, look, in the end, this is all going to determine. This is all going to be determined by how much revenue they raise between now and June 30th, 2018, uh, in in commercial contracts, in sponsorships, uh, in players that they might sell. Although at this stage, it looks like January, and in and in the prize money that they get. Uh, that's all that matters. Everybody else talking, they should be banned. They shouldn't be banned. They should be punished. It's all irrelevant. We don't know right now that there's even reason to do it. I told you that. You were warned before we started this. What's that? Don't go to Mercati about financial fair play. <laughs> People right. are interested, though, aren't they? Hey! Hey? John down the road, he's interested. Oh, wow. <laughs> Barry. Financial <laughs> fair play, my God. Right, Sid, <laughs> this was supposed to be Madrid still, wasn't it? We've seen the pictures of Mbappe with the Real Madrid players on his bedroom wall. Had a great relationship with Zidane, trained with them at Val de Bebas. Why didn't they get this done? Uh, essentially, and, and this ties in a little bit with what Gab's saying, because of the price. Essentially because, because ultimately the deal was, was too big for even Real Madrid. And we've always talked about this before, that there's this assumption that Madrid can get every player they want. That's not always true. There is, there is a kind of a, a, a structural limitation to them, which we saw actually last year with, with Paul Pogba. Um, and, and ultimately that's, that's where this, this ended up, in a position in which Madrid weren't prepared to push it right through. They were trying to get this done. They were trying to give themselves the opportunity. Uh, among the conversations that, that were had with Mbappe's camp, including promises about opening up a space for him in the side, which of course is, is something um, that he doubted all the way through, not least with, with Bale, Benzema and Ronaldo there, and also with Asensio coming through and Isco playing the back end of last season. And, and, and ultimately, I think too few of the ingredients were in place uh, to make this possible for Real Madrid. Man United have won a watch, haven't they? Man United? Yeah, it's get, it said mention Pogba. What they paid for him now last year, because it has gone absolutely bonkers in 12 months. Absolutely bonkers. And as, as you say, there's even a limit and a ceiling for mm. the likes of Real Madrid. But what we're doing all, just forgetting how the clubs are going to deal with the financial fair play and all that, this is the most, out with the, the big two we always talk about, this is the most talented player, mm. potentially, on the planet. I mean, he is fantastic in Mbappe. It feels like a while since we've had someone so young, so exciting come in. And that we know will deliver. Yeah. Because we've had players that you think, oh, this could be the guy, yeah. and somehow falls short. Oh, Jack Wilshire, you were uh, very uh, excited about it. Oh, well, yes, <laughs> clearly. That was the name I was thinking of. Uh, I would just suggest that for Real Madrid, <laughs> they, they were not desperate to make this deal because of the team that you have in place and because of all the success that you've had and because of the issues that Zidane already has in his hands with making sure that the pieces fit. If they had been able to do the deal, they would have, but I don't think they were desperate to push it as far as perhaps PSG would have, and of course PSG ends up with Mbappe. And what a tremendous player he is. And he makes PSG now, as you look at that front line, one of the favorites in Champions League. There's only one team desperate in Spain at the moment. Mm, yeah. yeah. Only one team is Barcelona. PSG were desperate because they're, although they didn't win league on last year, domestically it's, it's important but it doesn't hold sway compared to, to, to getting the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and that's the Champions League. And, and as Ali said, whilst they're not favourites, it will give them a great chance.